Hi, my name is Yuri, and I'm a quality engineering manager here at PAI. Today we're going to show you how to identify and install engine piston rings on a piston. As always, we want to make sure we have our OEM manual handy and follow their procedure accordingly. First thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox the piston rings. You'll see that the kit comes with three different pistons. To aid in identification, piston ring kits come with an informational instruction manual that help you identify the different rings. In this particular case, we have our compression ring, our intermediate ring, and our oil ring. When installing these, we have to be careful not to scratch up the sides of the piston. So what we need to use is a special ring expansion tool to help install this more easily. We start with the oil ring at the bottom. You first separate the spring from the solid portion of the ring, taking careful note where the gap is in the spring. In this particular case, I'm going to align the gap to my left. Now we take the solid part of the ring with the gap to the right, 180 degrees from the gap in the spring, and we gently expand it using a special ring expansion tool. Taking care not to scratch the piston, you make sure that the ring nests over the spring inside the ring group. Just like that. Moves freely and we know everything is okay. Now we take our intermediate ring, Note which side is top. Any PAI markings will always be pointing to the top of the piston ring. It'll have a word such as the word top, a dot, numbering, or any other indications. There will never be markings on the bottom of the piston ring. If you are confused, please consult the instructional sheet. We'll use the same sp ring spreading tool to carefully expand the piston ring and nest it in its respective ring groove taking care not to scratch the piston. Again, we see that the piston ring moves freely, which is a good sign. Finally, we take our compression ring, again, noting the markings towards the top, and using our expansion tool, carefully expand it, and sit it gently into its groove. One final thing we have to make sure of before we take this piston and install it inside of a liner we have to make sure that these ring gaps are oriented in the correct position. In this particular case, Caterpillar recommends that these ring gaps are 120 degrees apart from each other. We do not want them to all line up like this. So what we do is we take one ring and we turn it approximately one third of the way around or 120 degrees or to the right. Then we take our second ring and move it 120 degrees in the opposite direction and then we can have the oil ring in the middle. So now, the different ring gaps are 120 degrees apart. This helps ensure proper sealing between the piston rings and the walls of the liner. Now we're ready to take this piston and install it into our liner.